All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, coming at you again from Tetovo, Macedonia. I hope you can see the mountains in the background. Absolutely beautiful to go for a little fasted walk here and record a video. So guys, today's topic is why do most vegans quit veganism, go straight to carnivore and then fail on carnivore? Guys, let's be honest. Vegans are the most depleted human beings on this planet, right? That is just a fact. You're lacking vitamin A, B12, vitamin D, DHA, EPA and whatnot. So therefore, after quitting veganism, you are seeking nutrients, simple. And therefore, you're looking for that precious animal fat, the fat of the land. You can't get enough of it. On top of that, your gut is probably wrecked as well. And therefore, you want to abstain from all the plant fiber. Therefore, the carnivore diet comes to relieve you, right? It is just that easy. The carnivore diet gives you hope. The carnivore diet gives you healing where healing is needed. It is what it is. I tried to play around with certain plant foods in the beginning after quitting veganism and it didn't work at all. Quite the opposite. It was horrible. Broccoli was indigestible, rice gave me stomach upset, bananas gave me diarrhea, which is super strange. So nothing truly worked. And therefore the carnivore diet comes and helps you out. It is what it is. It is a great short term intervention to heal your gut. But once your gut is healed, of course you want to move on. And once those nutrient stores are restored, you do not need to chuck down a pound of butter every single day. Let's face it, guys. If you truly listen to your body, you will see what your body needs. And therefore, people that get blamed, ah, oh, you just jumped to carnivore, crazy. Yeah, but you do not know how many nutrients are lacking in that person's diet. And therefore, some people really need to chuck down on tons and tons of animal fats. Animal fats that are saturated with all kinds of vitamins in order to restore their health. It's normal. It's no wonder. And that was the case for me as well. But then once you restored, you replenished those stores, you can move on and maybe you do not need that much any longer. It is that simple. But guys, that is not the point of the video. The point of the video is the vegans blaming the new carnivores to fail on carnivore as well. So therefore, we are recognizing a pattern here, right? It's never the diet, it's always you because you're failing on everything. Many people like to blame vegetable police of that as well. And I'm not gonna name names, but guys, I have to say, I'm really fucking disappointed, man. I'm really disappointed because I observed the same behavior in the carnivore community that I observed in the vegan community. Jesus Christ, people call out vegetable police now for not doing the carnivore diet right. Come on, man. Yeah, he has a lactose intolerance. I get it. That is a valid point. Sure. But all this fucking name calling, telling people how to eat, what to do. Jesus Christ, you're all ideologues, no matter if it is carnivore or vegan. <sighs> Anyways, that is not the topic either. I'm ranting a little bit this morning. The topic is that nobody truly failed on carnivore if you think about it logically, right? Those people reintroduced animal foods. And yes, sure, they went on an all-meat diet. And hey, maybe it got boring. Or maybe it didn't suit their goals. Just as me. I want to make tremendous gains. And for that, I need carbohydrates. Admittedly, I'm not against plants. It is what it is. Even a sweaty, a almost exclusively raw meat eater will eat certain fruits to gain weight. Of course. Why not? That's the beauty of being human, of course. Anyways, the point is that those people didn't fail because what they did is introduce the animal foods and stop veganism. And they're still carnivores. Because if you look into nature, into the wild, you will see carnivorous animals eating a little bit of plant matter as well. It's that simple. 
all animals, even herbivores, classified herbivores, will eat a little bit of flesh. And therefore, technically speaking, we are all carnivores, to an extent. As long as you rely on some animal nutrition to survive, you are of course a carnivore. That is undeniable, right? And therefore, those people that went carnivore and now are not fully carnivore, guys, the truth of the matter is, those people are still carnivore. Do you get that? Of course they are. But people, let's stop the fucking division, man. I'm in a good mood this morning. I don't want to do another topic video. I said it before. This is not about that. It is about uniting people. And it is about sharing truth. Be quiet. It is about sharing truth. It is about finding out what works for you. Nothing more, nothing less, man. Once we understand that as people, we will understand that there is no religion to be followed, no dietary dogma. Guys, when I saw the carnivores was blaming vegetables, I got really, really fucking sick of it all. Excuse my French. But it's just disgusting to see, really. We have to concentrate on what is valuable, on what is true. And what is true for one body cannot be true for another one. It cannot be true. If we all would be tribesmen, then maybe, maybe our diet would be very, very similar, right? Pretty much identical. Maybe the quantities would vary. Other than that, it would be probably all the same. But nowadays, Man, maybe you sit in the office all day long. Maybe you are an endurance runner. Maybe you are a bodybuilder. People want to tell you that you can do one thing that you choose on one diet. And that is bullshit. Vegans will tell you, you can do bodybuilding with veganism, no worries. Hey, you can be an endurance runner, you can be a martial artist, you can be anything. Just eat plant-based. You don't even need to adjust anything, right? Just eat enough calories. Yay, that's it. Sure. And the carnivores will tell you the same. Hey, I'm an endurance runner. I'm a carnivore. Hey, I'm a bodybuilder, right? Look at my gains. I'm carnivore. Jesus Christ, man. When will that shit stop? Honestly, when will it stop? When will people understand that, hey, you are watching one person and that person happens to be on a diet and happens to be on a certain sport regiment. And that works for that person. Maybe, or maybe not. Maybe that person will switch it up as well. If you look into athletes, they're changing nutritionists all the time. One season, that guy, one season, another guy. They're always adjusting their plans. It is what it is. And the same applies to you humans, man. To you humans, because I am of course not human. Jesus, think about it. We all need different treatment. We all need different diets. Of course, there are valuable learning lessons in all of those diets. And of course, there are certain truths, such as, sure, vegans don't get DHA, EPA, B12, D3. You don't get it. It's true. And therefore, think about your choices. But then, you will have to move forward and think about what you want to do with your life. Because that's what it truly is, man. What do you want to do with your life, man? Do you want to be a bodybuilder? Do you want to be a fruitarian living in Thailand? Maybe that's what you want to do. Maybe that is your ideology. Maybe you want to snack on mangoes all day and watch the sunset on Koh Phangan. Why not, man? Do it. And don't listen to me. I fucking hate ideologies. And this is what this video is truly about. I started talking about why carnivores, new carnivores, don't really fail. And that is the quintessence, that is the truth. They don't fail because they stay carnivore. Maybe not full carnivore, but still carnivore. But the point of this rant is that you will have to listen to your body. That's it, man. YouTube is nothing but entertainment. Studies are nothing but entertainment because you can interpret them in all kinds of ways. And you can find what's valuable for you. It's that simple. Stop listening to ideologues. Stop listening to propaganda. Stop listening to dogmatic bullshit beliefs. Start listening to yourself. Reclaim your health. And this is it.
for today's video. If you liked it, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And as always, guys, much love and peace.